My name is Lu Weijun, and today I will present my assignment. And our topic is a mobile robot that performs disinfection tasks and cleaning. This is my group members, Ho Xiao Zhi and Yeo Jian Wei. For overview, the features of our robot is it is an autonomous robot. For dimension, its length is 60 cm, width is 30 cm, height is 55 then 6 cm. Its function is to spread disinfectant to its surrounding, so it can be used in many places, such as hospital, shopping mall, office, or others. And this is the design of our robot. So here is the diaphragm water pump, the battery, the nozzles, and four wheels here, and light sensors, controller box, and tank. So we break down our robot into a few parts. So the parts is spread part, movement part, and control part. For the spray part, we have one diaphragm water pump, one PE horse, four nozzles, one tank, and the diaphragm water pump is 12 watt and 60 watt. The PE horse is 3 meter, the nozzle is 0.3 millimeter, and the tank is 48 liter. And this is a spraying part design. So we have the diaphragm pump here. The nozzle here and it is covering the water tank. For the water tank it is 29 cm width and 34 cm height. And that's all for my part. Thank you. So now I will present the control part. The control part is made up by few components. First of all is the outdoor junction box. The outdoor junction box having a 50 times 10 times 10 cm dimension. This box is to contain microcontroller which is Arduino Uno R3, 4 channel 5 volt relay module, buzzers and 5 volt voltage regulator circuits. This box is made by PVC so it is corrosion proof and also it is waterproof so it can prevent the water entering and destroy the Arduino and chain and relay inside there. So in this project a microcontroller that we use is Arduino Uno R3. The 4 channel 5 volt relay module is to control the high voltage. In this project, we also use the piezo buzzer to alarm people when the mod when the robot is run and the people is nearby. So it will the buzzer will sound to alarm people. So next is the LM25. 96 step down converter. This converter is used to step down the voltage to 5 volts. And next is the DS1302 clock module. This clock module is used to real time module it, and it can calculate the time that we we spread the if we, we spread the to spread the disinfectants. So Next is the battery indicator. This the battery indicator is show the show the capacity of the battery so we we know when we want to charge the robot. And lead acid is used in this project. As because because a lead acid battery is rechargeable, thus we do not have to replace the battery frequently. So in this picture, we can see the controller design and at the top, we can see the battery indicator here and ultrasonic sensor at here, piezo buzzer and this is this is the 50 times 10 by 10 cm dimension of outdoor junction box. And inside the controller, we have four things which is timer, step down converter, four, four relay and and Arduino Uno R3. Four of them is inside the controller box because the control box is made up by PVC, so it is waterproof. It can protect these four important components. 
so now is the presentation of move, movement part the movement part is the is the lowest part of the robot so it is built up by five components which is silicon wheel dc gear motor light sensor l295n motor driver stainless steel board okay first is the silicon wheel which the spe specification is a uh, 64 mm and white is 26 mm and and we can see that the silicon wheel at, at this and next is the dc gear motor we have two dc gear motors with the speed specification with 12 vdc input at the at this and next we have three light sensors to send the black light of the road and the motor driver is used to control the speed and direction of the motor lastly is the stainless steel board with a dimension of 16 60 times 30 times 20 cm what why we use the stainless steel board because it is uh, more more stable so now i will present the relationship between light sensor and motor and which is how the robot is is moved first uh, we have three light set three light sensor right at this three light sensor so we have left right sensor center right sensor and right right sensor and we have motor left motor and right so motor we have left motor and right motor okay now this has three we have four conditions first of all uh, when the robot want to go forward the left light sensors will send nothing and right right light sensor also will send nothing only the center light sensor sends sends a black line so the left motor and right motor is move clockwise in the second condition is the robot want to turn left so in this condition the left and center light sensor is sense a black light while the right light sensor do not send anything so the motor left the left motor will move anti-clockwise and the right motor will move clockwise so the robot will turn left in order to let the mot the robot to turn right the the center and right light sensor will sense a black line so the left motor will move clockwise and the right motor will move anti-clockwise so after that the robot will turn right so the last condition is that three of the three of the light sensor is sense sense the black light so the motor of left the left motor and right motor will move the left motor will move clockwise and the right motor will move anti-clockwise and it is turned 180 degree as the center also sends the black line so it will turn 180 degrees until the center until it is moved forward like left light sensor and red, right light sensor is do not sense the black line thank you Hey, hi, I'm Paul. So let's continue with the fourth chart. Okay, so you can see, start with your start, and then you read timer. If the timer is off, then you go back to read timer again. This timer is about uh, the time when you you want your robot to operate. Because our robot is autonomous, so we can operate and we set the time. So let's, let's see when the timer is on. So you start the, the robot start operating and start operating you start moving and also spray the uh this this event this bit this infectant. So let's look at the left side side left side left side is about the movement. So it's about reading the light sensor, the three light sensor. So is is the right and the center is dark, then you turn right and the, and the left and center is dark, then you turn left and the only center is dark then you move forward 
with all you turn 180 degrees and stop okay so look at look at the right side he's reading about the ultrasonic sensor so this sensor is to send got people uh, in front of the robot or some cat or animal in within one meter so if it's nothing is in front of the robot then the robot will continue is move it will start it continue as normal okay so if got people then the Arduino will send signal to a relay motor and buzzer so the motor and the water water pump will, will stop its operation and the buzzer will light on to alert alarm the people in front or the enemy in front to tell them to go away or give give some way so then we we'll go back to here and see uh this if got if the people is away then you continue its operation okay so let's look at an example so this is an example when the time is on you can set as i say you can set at 12 am 9 pm or something like that so first the motor will go for the line and you turn and go forward again and then you turn and go forward okay and then turn again and move forward so this is when ending right okay so and stop then you turn 180 because the three uh, sensor sends up and then stop its operation okay and this is something in front of the robot case okay so the robot sends as a cat in front so you stop moving and then you send the buzzer and then until the cat is going then you continue his work okay so it is continue as a case one so when you stop here and here becomes the start and here becomes the stop so the robot will continue its, its operation yeah as normal you can see go back and then return 180 and then stop and then wait for its another operation and then move from here to here again uh, or vice versa okay so let's move on to conclusion in conclusion a concept design for a robot that perform a disinvented task and cleaning you are able to achieve that okay so that's all from our presentation thank you